Well, I'm so happy to be here at Raglan Castle. What a great place to start a tour here in southern Wales. Really looking forward to what we're going to see today. And I know the coaching tour operators are going to like it too, to help you plan your tours to southern Wales. Well, hello everyone. Uh, I'd like you to join me now on this virtual familiarization trip of Southern Wales and I'm going to show you some sites you may be familiar with or maybe not so familiar with. I'm going to show you some beautiful coastline, the capital city, the city of Cardiff, heritage railways and old coal mines. So come and join me on board. Southern Wales is an easy reach from London, the Midlands, southwest England and once here the main road network makes exploring easy. Raglan Castle is the greatest castle ever built by a Welshman. Just one of over 30 castles you can visit across southern Wales. This mighty fortress dates back to 1435 and was deliberately destroyed by the parliamentary forces after the longest siege of the Civil War. Big Pit National Coal Museum is at the heart of UNESCO World Heritage Landscape which tells the story of the Industrial Revolution. Over three million people have visited and gone underground to explore the original coal workings since it opened as a museum in 1983. Nearby, Blynavon's Heritage Railway steams along the tracks that took the coal from the big pit. Groups can join regular trips and events or private tailored visits can be created just for you. The Guardian is dedicated to the 45 miners who died in the Six Bells disaster on the 28th of June 1960. It's 60 foot high and made over 20,000 strips of core 10 steel which are positioned in such a way that the structure changes its appearance as you walk up to it. Welcome, come within. As you enter Llanciach Vaux Manor, you're transported back to 1645. Colonel Pritchard's staff take you around the house, explaining what life was like for them and the family. You'll also find out how the Civil War is progressing. Ghost tours are available, but they're not for the faint-hearted. Cavartha Castle was built for the Iron Master William Crawshay II in 1824. It's now a museum and art gallery telling the story of Merthyr Tydfil as well as displaying an eccentric collection of the Crawshay family and a stunning contemporary art collection and it sits in 150 acres of beautiful parkland. Zip World Tower is the world's fastest seated zip line with stunning views of the Brecon Beacons as you fly down from the Rikos Mountain. Refreshments are available in Kegin Glor, located at the former Tower Coal Mine, which was bought and run by the miners after the miners' strike. Porth Coal is a traditional seaside resort with fun fair and candy floss some of the best surfing and water sports in the UK. Every September is the home to Europe's Elvis Festival. In 2020, it was named as one of the 40 best things to do in the world by Time Out magazine. Forage is a new farm shop and restaurant, selling a huge selection of Welsh food and drink and treats. It's a great stop near the fascinating market town of Cowbridge. The Royal Mint makes coins for the UK and around 60 other countries. 
as well as medals like the ones for the 2012 Olympics. The tour lets you see behind the scenes and also discover the fascinating story of money. The National Museum Cardiff is home to a world-class art and natural history. It tells the story of Wales' evolution alongside displays of some of the best Impressionist paintings, ceramics and an ever-changing programme of temporary exhibitions. Cardiff has only been a city since 1905 and only been our capital since 1955. Large parts of Cardiff Castle are Victorian folly built for the third Marquis of Butte's holiday home. The imposing Cortez Park is filled with museums, courts, university. Cardiff Bay is the modern home to the Welsh Senedd. Millennium Centre, great water sports and a great place for groups to stop and eat. Newport Transport Bridge is only one of six still working across the world. It was designed by Ferdinand Ardenon, a French engineer, and was opened by Godfrey Morgan in 1906. A major renovation is underway, which will create a new visitor centre, as well as ensuring you'll still be able to travel across the water by gondola, or if you're brave enough, climb up over the top. Caleon is one of three legionary fortresses in Britain. Here you can explore the remains of the amphitheatre which could seat up to 6,000 people. As well as the bars, the legionary museum where finds big and small are displayed. Although most of the Roman remains are below ground, as you walk around this compact town, you may spot some recycled Roman stones. Across South Wales, we have a variety of hotels, from town centre establishments to quiet countryside retreats. The Parkway Hotel in Cumbran and the Herriston Hotel in Bajend are just two examples of great hotels that are available. Both are great bases for exploring the region. Well, thank you for joining me on this virtual fam trip of Southern Wales. If you need any help, contact me at Griffin Guiding or Southern Wales Tourism and they'll put together the perfect itinerary for you and your groups. Cheers now. Well, I've had a great day here in Southern Wales. And I know that coach operators, group travel organisers and inbound operators, anybody that plans tours will too. I've discovered places I haven't seen for a long time, but I've also found places that I've never been to. So plan your tour for Southern Wales just here.